SP320. Alright, now let's talk a little bit about the price. The keyboard right now costs around 240 euros. When I bought it a few years ago, it was uh, a bit cheaper, but right now 240 euros on the common uh, website. And what you get is the keyboard itself, this thingy, sorry, I don't know what it's called, but this thing that holds uh, your shit music. You also get uh, the accumulator, so the thing that you can plug into the wall to get electricity in the keyboard. And you also get a small pedal. I don't have that anymore. It was, uh, well, not the best uh, thing, but you can buy other pedals um, yeah, if you don't like that. But basically what you get for the money is the keyboard, the accumulator, small pedal, and this thing. Uh, I'll put a picture of the pedal so you can, uh, so you can see it. And if we have a look at the back of the keyboard here, you can see all the plugs. So you have a USB to host, sustain pedal, line out here, you can plug in a lot of other things, headphones or uh, speakers, and then here is the power supply. All right, and now a few words about uh, the keyboard. Uh, these are spring-weighted keys, so they are semi-weighted, they come right back up, however, there is no hammer action, so you don't get that tactile feedback uh, that you normally get on a piano. Another important thing to mention is that you have uh, dynamic keys, so depending on how much pressure you put on the key, you get uh, a softer or louder sound. So you can roughly see uh, three steps. So this is the softer sound. Then you can get a bit louder. And loudest. And you also get a, you have an inbuilt metronome over here. And then of course you can play over that. And you can set it to, on a higher or lower tempo. And now let's listen to the sounds that we have the instruments on this keyboard. And uh, I'll just be playing the demo songs that the keyboard has inbuilt in it. So here we go. First, we start uh, Grand Piano. And this is how it sounds on its own. Then we have electronic piano one. And now let's move on to the church organ. Okay, I guess, I guess you get the idea. Now we have strings.
and then the vibraphone. Uh, and then here is the vibraphone on its own as well. Or, sorry, that was the electronic piano. Here we have the vibraphone. And this is the guitar. Right, and uh, if we go back, we also have bright piano. Yeah, you get the idea then, electronic piano too. and then rock organ. And then bass. Next up we have the harpsichord. And lastly we have the choir. So there you have it, in total we have 12 instruments. So someone in uh, my previous videos asked about the bass uh, for, this, uh, for this piano and here's how the bass sounds like. Now, one feature of this keyboard is that you can add layers of instruments. So, 
in this case I set it up so that I have the strings and the grand piano layered. So for example if I press a key I can hear both a, a piano and the string sound. So here we go. Uh, I will quickly record something uh, and, and show how it sounds. And while you can layer instruments on top of each other, unfortunately, uh, at least from what I found, you cannot play different instruments on different sides of the keyboard. So for example, now I have layered the piano and the bass. So yeah, they're basically layered, but I cannot have piano here and bass on this side and you don't have a division somewhere in the middle unfortunately um, however if, if anyone knows how to get to that feature uh, how to make it work please let me know but from what I know uh, it is impossible to get that on this keyboard now on my last video I got a, a lot of questions about whether or not this is a good keyboard for beginners and my answer to that is absolutely. I would say that this is a really good keyboard. You get a lot of value for a really good price. Uh, it might be a little bit weird when you switch from these semi-weighted keys to a you know normal piano uh, with that hammer action. But to be fair, I, I don't think that's gonna that's gonna be a problem. So I would say if you're a beginner and you want a decent keyboard, you want to learn how to play the piano, this this is a pretty good alternative. Now, one of the last things that I would like to mention about this keyboard is that you might want to get a few accessories for it. So, I'm not sure if you can really see it, but down here I have a stand. So, this was not included uh, when, when I bought the keyboard. So, this I bought on my own. And at the same time, I also got a, a pedal. Here it is. This is a Stag sustain pedal. Really basic. Just, you know, does the job. You can also have it inverted here. Uh, again, the, the pedal that came with the keyboard was not really good, so if you want to have a pedal, you probably need to, to buy one. Uh, but they're pretty cheap, so I, I, I think you're gonna do just fine. Uh, and at the same time, I would also recommend getting a pair of headphones. Most people already have those, so if you have a pair of headphones and you have an adapter, you can just plug it in there uh, behind the keyboard. And at the same time, you can also buy uh, a pair of, uh, of speakers because the speakers on this keyboard are not that good. So if I play a lot on the keyboard, at some point, at least for me, I'm not sure if it's just, um, well, a bug on, on this specific keyboard, but for me it happened a lot of times that the left speaker simply goes silent after I, I play something in the lower octaves. All right, so here it works, but usually if I play a lot in the lower octaves, uh, the left speaker just breaks for a while and then I have to turn it on and off again uh, and then it might start uh, and, and that's pretty annoying to be fair but if you have again headphones or speakers uh, that can be you know it, it fixes the problem and lastly you can also buy a, a cover for the piano because right now if you just leave it like this of course you're gonna get dust in it and it's gonna get dirty so if you want you can also buy a cover uh, that is not included in the in the standard piece so Again, if you want, you can buy a lot of accessories and really customize uh, this keyboard and pretty much make it your own. And that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick review. Let me know if you have any other questions about the keyboard. 
I'll just shoot a, a quick video and try to answer your question as quickly as I can. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have, have fun.